Hey guys, so right now we're going to look at <clears throat> perceived value and what that actually means in depth. So when researching products to sell in your e-commerce business, eBay, Amazon, your own Shopify store, it doesn't matter. Um, perceived value is basically the way a product is perceived. The value within a product when basically when you're looking at it, so all you have to go off of with the internet the only thing is you can't touch the product. You can't see how it actually functions in person. So getting into the customer's mindset is what everything is what perceived value is all about. So the only thing you have is images and your description. So going off of perceived value when it comes to researching your products is let's take for example um First off, let's go to a, let's go to a supplier and let's just click a category. So, what can we do here? Let's go with home and garden. Let's go with hmm, let's go with wall decor. So, uh, I'm not sure how good of a category this is on light in the box. I've never actually looked. Um, this might be a little. This is does have a lot of artsy stuff, which is actually kind of hard to. Um, it's kind of hard to tell the perceived value of a product when it's when it's uh <clears throat> in this category like artsy type stuff unless you have an eye for this type of thing um let's so let's just go with a more basic kind of product um we can go with what's a good one what's a good basic category here we can go off okay let's go with a home and garden again but let's go with um kitchen appliances yeah this should be a good one okay so let's go with this one right here here we have a blender so this is the type of blender that you have to use the big bowl for um, to stain the steel bowl and it's got a mount let's see what else this thing is see what else it has uh, another super sweet filled by the US fulfillment center light in the box is getting better every time I come here and look alright so it's a 200 watt standard 100 to 100 240 volt um, stainless steel bowl high quality ABS plastic clearly you can see the blender on top it has looks like it has multiple speed functions and I think it's just a one looks like it's a two prong blender so to me perceived value of this without seeing this price right here I would guess anywhere between I would say like fifty or sixty dollars, all the way up to maybe a hundred, a hundred and twenty, if it's a super, you know, a super good quality one. So already at thirty-five dollars, this is already above my per, my perspective of perceived value of what this product should be worth, retail price. Uh, so if I was to go into Walmart or Kmart or uh, or even shopping on Amazon.com, I would expect to see this thing for at least fifty or sixty bucks. Um, so what we can do is, we found a pretty good example for this first one. What we can do is go over to Amazon now and search for this stainless steel, um, stainless steel blender. Stainless steel blender mixer. So now what we want to do is take a look at the marketplace we want to sell on. So in this example, we're looking at selling on Amazon. So now what we're going to do is try to find ones that are almost identical so basically the exact same type of product as what we have here that we want to sell and so far all I'm finding is like the standalone blenders with the, you put the put the blender on top of the machine so I'm guessing this would be more of like a like a mixer mixer okay here we go okay so Hamilton Beach got one for 35 exact same price then we have one here for looks a little bit better quality it's got a one big spinner instead of two for $95 and it's clearly selling we have another one for 140 330 that's KitchenAid uh, 100 bucks 150 bucks $115 so as you can see, my perceived value was right. I went anywhere from 50 or 60 bucks all the way up to uh, a little over 100. 
as you can see they can actually go even more expensive so that's actually a good thing for us because the higher the price and the the more people are used to spending you know a hundred hundred fifty even two hundred dollars for products similar to this and we're able to find one similar for thirty five bucks that gives us a bigger possibility for a higher profit margin which is amazing you know it's perfect makes me super happy seeing this okay so go over to the next page and we're gonna actually do a little further research another thing you can do is when you're listing on Amazon you want to see how many of how many products you know how many of this exact type of thing can you actually find on the marketplace you want to sell on so so far on the first page that's full of them but on the second page I don't see one that is the exact same now it's starting to get into different products like standalone hand blender to just the bowl with like a with a mixer and then this whole this is a juice this is a whole separate so separate product than that so basically the first page there's a similar one now that's like a milkshake maker there's one for 115 so basically the market for this type of product to me actually looks pretty open so what we can do is actually what it would be a food mixer food processor mixer take a look at some more keywords just to get a you know a good idea of what we're looking at there's another one with a whole system 150 bucks so from there what I would do is with perceived value it's all about what the customer is seeing so you need to get inside the customers mindset so if you shop online and you buy stuff from your home which I'm sure you do so not thinking as the person trying to actually research these products and sell it for your business you're actually looking at I want to go buy one of these mixer bowl things so clearly you want to have a little bit of a budget in mind and then you're going to obviously be hunting for like a pretty good price but your most customers I know I don't like to sacrifice on quality depending on the price so if I can get a same product like if there's this same product let's say that one right there if I can get it for anywhere from 70 bucks to 150 depending on if the $70 one is like missing a few of the functions or if it's like plastic and the other one's stainless steel depending on what I want it, I may go with the more expensive one so you don't you do not need to be the cheapest you can actually have one of the highest prices depending on the perceived value of your product and still make tons of sales compared to your competitors who may actually have lower prices than you so what I would like to do is go back to that the stainless steel because that's the type of one we had stainless steel mixer and scroll back down here okay so we have one one that's the same price as ours and it's pretty basic looking Hamilton Beach um, just a classic handheld blender I mean honestly pretty similar to ours but ours uh, ours doesn't already exist on Amazon and this is the only competition in that price range everything else is like 140 bucks 95 bucks a hundred dollars three hundred and thirty dollars hundred and fifty so our competition is basically this one right there that's at the very low end of the price price spectrum um, but based on perceived value I would compare ours I would ca compare it to that one but I would also compare it to these ones too now I know these ones are higher quality clearly they're over a hundred dollars um, but that doesn't matter it doesn't matter as, as long as this isn't like as long as the difference in what you're looking at isn't completely you know, long as this thing isn't like completely different, um, how do I explain this? It's a it's a it's a thing that comes over time, and that's why I want to do this video, the perceived value, because it's really important when researching products for your own business, uh, selling on eBay or Amazon or your own store. Um, perceived value is something that a lot of people don't ever pay attention to or look at. It's kind of like a thing that it comes from being a customer first, you know, being a savvy shopper and being able to find the best deal yet on the highest quality product and not because not everybody goes for the lowest price a lot of people are looking uh, for you know some people are looking for something very specific and some people are looking for the lowest price and some people are looking for the best price within ones that are as close to the same product as possible so if I was looking at this and this I would go these things are almost the exact same 
Um, five quart, five and a half quart. Six speed. This one doesn't say the speed. Um, it's a mixer. It's got a stainless steel bowl. It's got a couple extra things. This one's basically the same. It has the guard. It's got the single blender. It's got, it actually looks like it's got a, I like the function that right here that you can actually lift this back and pull that out of the way without detaching the piece. And I'm not sure if this has that or not. Crazy thing is, this thing's 330 bucks and this thing's 140 So between these two, I would assume this one would actually be worth a little more. It also looks like it's made of steel and this one's made of plastic. So, um, for me, I would go with this one, and I would be super happy to know that this one's also $200 cheaper than this one. Now, people might be KitchenAid fanatics, and they don't buy anything other than KitchenAid, and there might be some other things that I'm not able to see. Let's say if I click through to the product, maybe it comes with five extra mixing bowls, but that's only listed in the description. So, before a customer actually clicks on your product and goes through to your description and decides to make a purchase, the only thing they have to go off of is the image, the very first image, and the title. So, perceived value, you're eventually going to be getting your product once you start making some sales. You're obviously going to want to get closer to the first, second, and third pages. And obviously, as more time goes, more time goes on, you're trying to get your product ranked up on the first page for multiple keywords. And with perceived value, for me, this product... I think it would be a winner. I think we could list this thing because there's only one other one that's similar, like almost identical to it. And then th the next thing is all of them are at least 90 to to $100. So if you could somehow make this, the perceived value of this go up. Um, so you can, maybe you have a really, maybe they have a really amazing image. So maybe your image is going to be better than that other $35 guy. Maybe yours comes with the two things you know, the two mixing utensils, and this one only comes with the blender and the bowl and the stand. So that's going to be some things that you can actually put in your title to differentiate yourself to increase the perceived value of your product when listing it. Um, so let's, let's go on to another one. Let's go. Let's find ourselves another product. And what do we have? What do we have? Okay, we have a rice cooker. It's a pretty good price. 26 bucks, ships from the US. Okay, $26 rice cooker. Um, let's see. Looks like it comes with an extra storage tray and an extra bowl. Maybe that's the bowl that goes inside. I'm not sure. It definitely looks like it comes with lots of stuff. Okay, and we're 26 bucks. Yeah, it looks like it comes with all that stuff, which is really neat. So this isn't this isn't just a rice cooker. This is a rice cooker set. Um, so already the perceived value of this versus just the standard rice cooker that doesn't come with all the extra stuff, even just the word set. Set. So obviously you know you're getting more than just a rice cooker if you're including the word set in your title. You're including all these utensils, storage, a bowl. So let's go over to Amazon. All right, I already have a good feeling about this one. Rice cooker. And what we'll do is scroll on down. So here's some ones for super cheap. 23 bucks. But clearly I can already see this one doesn't isn't a set. This one probably just comes with the cooker and the lid. Um, that's it. So we'll keep going. What you want to do with perceived value is you're trying to find ones that are most similar to yours. And you're trying to see if your price, if you can be competitive and still make a big profit. So another one, 25 bucks. 22 80 bucks that's like a pressure cooker as well that's not just a rice cooker um, I don't know why the, the search is weird let me try to let me do this or something rice cooker small I think this is a pretty small one so let's scroll down now see what we can find okay I'm finding some pretty low prices on these rice cookers I'm also not really finding any rice cooker sets. Like I'm not find I'm just seeing the pot with the lid, the pot with the lid, the pot with the lid. I'm not seeing any actual rice cookers that come with like lots of stuff. Okay, here's this is a different one. It's like a square instead of round. Um, five and a half cup. Seventy bucks. And clearly it's selling. It's got six hundred and sixty four reviews. Um I don't see too many small size rice cookers. I'm seeing rather really cheap rice cookers that just come with the body and the lid. 
or rice cooker, like a like a legit slow cooker, like a pot roast, crock pot. So not just uh, not just the rice cooking function. It's got like this is a whole crock pot. This so this is a whole nother level. This is a way above on the perceived value scale. This is definitely worth way more than this. But this is also just a rice cooker. This isn't just a rice cooker. So they're not actually in the same category. Um, of someone who's looking for just a rice cooker, they may buy this, but if someone's looking for something specific like a rice cooker set or something that isn't a crock pot, maybe they already have one, maybe they just want one for their apartment, maybe they're buying it as a gift, maybe they want to, you know, maybe they want to buy a rice, this rice cooker for, you know, a million other reasons as to why they're not going to want to buy this other big one. Another reason is this is over a hundred bucks. So if they're looking for something under, say, 50 to 80 bucks, then your product is what's going to pop in front of their face. Um, so here's one looks pretty similar. I'd say this may be a little bigger and it could just be the picture but 125 bucks 811 reviews clearly selling to me. It just looks like the rice cooker with the lid um, So just based off of the fact that ours is a set and you'll be able to put that in your title you might even be able to grab an image that includes um, I know on Amazon you have to have a stark white background like this, but if you could incorporate there we go, like something like this in the background, there we go. So this would be a really good main image. To have all that stuff in the background, people already know they're getting way more value because look at all this extra stuff they get. That bumps up the perceived value. So this compared to another one that's just the body and the lid, this the value of this already looks like a lot more because you're getting way more for your price, you know, way more for your dollar, a better bang for your buck. Scroll over to the next page. 16 bucks that's really cheap um, lid and body and that's it and I think it's a mini maybe not so another thing with perceived value is when you're actually looking for what price you want to list your product for you're gonna have to keep in mind rather a mental note um, but depending on how many different price ranges there is for very very similar products you probably have to write down what the price range actually is I like to go off of a uh, 80 20 rule so if 80% of the products I'm looking at that are similar to mine, you know, the product I want to list, if 80% of them are in the profitable range, so the price range that I want to sell mine for, that's really good. And 20% being, 20% are below my price range. So 20% of the products being a lot cheaper than mine, that's 80% of the products are in a good price range and 20% are in a bad, bad for you. Um, that's good though if it's 80-20 or 90-10 because if you flip that around, so 80% of the products that uh, you're finding on Amazon or eBay are in like the, so this thing is $26. Let's say we want to sell it for $49.99 for like 40% profit roughly. If most of the products are $49 and above, you know, 90%, that puts you, if you list at $47.99 and most of them are above 50, like 90% or more, that puts you in the lowest 10% price range for the same perceived value. So the same product which has the same perceived value or a very similar perceived value to what shoppers and customers are looking at in front of their face on their Amazon or eBay uh, during their shopping experience. So if you are in the low 10% price range of the same, you know, same type of product. So let's say we have one that's identical to this and we want to list for 47.99 and we make a good profit and this is this this is the cheapest one other than ours and we're able to undercut the cheapest guy for basically the same product and all the other prices are 50 and above, you are literally the cheapest on Amazon. Um, and then if there's, there's some that are 45 to to $100 and you want to list yours for $47.99, you'd be in the lower 10%. Now, if you flip that around and the majority of the products you're finding are um, below the price you want to sell yours for, so let's say 80 or 90% of the products you're finding are below like 30 bucks or $25 and less, that is not a good thing. Um, you obviously want more products to have higher prices because the perceived value the basic perceived value, like an average, the average perceived value will be higher for this type of product if the prices on Amazon or the, your, your marketplace 
are generally higher than what you want to sell it for. If the prices, you know, the, the average of prices of the product you want to sell are lower than the price you want to sell it for. So if the majority of the products are 25 bucks and lower and you want to sell the thing for $40 or more, that's not good, right? That's going to be a lot harder for you to compete because you're going to be one of the highest prices. But like I said, depending on your perceived value, you can have a higher price and sell your product every out the door like crazy. It all just depends on your perceived value. So the quality of your item, what people are going to be expecting when they buy it, so what are they included? So so far we're seeing lots of them that are like under 25 bucks, but the majority of them are just the pot with the lid. Um I don't I haven't seen any that actually come as a set on the whole first two pages of Amazon so far, which is a good thing for us because we have this picture. We know ours isn't just the stock isn't just the pot, it's a full out set. So it comes with all this extra stuff. Um so from there that puts our perceived value up. So we don't need to worry about competing with the 20 and 20 and 25 and 16 and like even the $30 ones, it's $36 one because it's just the body with the lid. We're going to be competing with the guy that's like a little bit better quality. That's got, see here's a body and a lid and it's 50 bucks, but he's got stainless steel. So that puts his perceived value up compared to ours, which is like all plastic separate from the internal bowl. But 50 bucks and a customer is not going to be getting all that extra stuff right all the extra stuff that comes with yours which is like a container a bowl a, a spoon a couple of measuring cups this thing comes with a bunch of extra stuff a food serving tray like this thing's pretty cool this is a really great value and a really great price so for me I would probably be looking at going in the price range of one to two dollars cheaper than the cheapest guys and the highest end of the perceived value so Going to this thing, this is a whole nother product, whole nother level, so we don't compete with them. We don't compete with him. We don't compete with that, because that's just, you put it in the microwave. So, this guy we'd be competing with. This guy we'd be competing with. Except we're, we have a better perceived value than him, because, um, let's see. Looks like he actually has a couple things that come with it three cup size that's a that's like a mini one and it comes with a bowl a little measuring cup and a spoon so ours does come with like five extra pieces it comes with that bowl that serving tray and what's this other thing show three little extra things and then like a whole nother container um, so ours comes with like five extra things this one comes with three and I don't know what's going on here I was actually going to try to click to see what the real price is here because I know it's going to tell me see all buying options. Okay, 20 bucks. So, he's definitely on the lower end of the price spectrum. But we do have lots of guys that are have a, a similar perceived value that are around the $50 mark, $49.99, um, $59.99. So for me, I would say the majority of them are like $30 and under. So that's going to put us in the higher price range. But if we, if you're confident that your perceived value is going to be just as high as the 50 uh, the 40 and $50 ones, then you'd be safe to go ahead and list at the lower end of that price range. So like $45, $44. And profit on that is still going to be at least 20 or 30%, which is really, really good for drop shipping. So I think that's it for this video. We've gone over two products. I really hope you guys understand the perceived value. You can always uh, send us a message or go to supremecommercetraining.com to find out more. And good luck. We'll see you later.